good morning welcome back to my channel as you can see I'm on my kitchen right now I'm going to prepare myself a cup of tea and then I want to sit down and chat with you and also I want to unbox something very very special as you can see I'm also very festive today I am in full holiday mood these days really we finally have real snow here in Warsaw like it's been snowing for about four days in a row and all of the streets are covered in snow it is snowing outside at the moment as i'm looking through the window i can see lots of snowflakes just turning around in the air and that is the most magical weather really that that exists out there for me and uh, the dress that i'm wearing today is a very holiday kind of dress. This is a nap dress from Hill House Home from their holiday collection this year. I started wearing nap dresses this summer and I fell in love with them. If you watched my channel this summer and this autumn you saw me uh, on my trip in France wearing nap dresses all the time and this is a holiday nap dress it is made of cotton but it is not like summer cotton like we had in summer this is a brushed cotton like flannel and uh, the print is tartan really festive really nice and honestly i feel like wearing this dress every day right now because it is just so comfy and nice and I put lots of different turtlenecks underneath when I feel like I want some extra layers, extra heat. On my feet today I'm wearing my Ugg, 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 I always forget how to call this brand, slippers, which are super comfy. I'm one of those people who never wear shoes at home. This is just not in my culture. We never wear shoes that we wear outside, inside of our homes. So we always wear comfy slippers or just socks. On my neck, I have a new necklace, which is from April Monaco. It is a very festive one. I wouldn't say that this is my style generally, but I think for the holiday season, it looks, it looks appropriate. It looks just right. And I've paired it with some uh, pearl studs that I have. And together I think it makes a good match. Uh, the necklace, by the way, it is not symmetrical. You don't have the same design on both sides, which, which makes it a bit unique. But it's nice anyway. My hair is wavy, just like most days right now. So my pot is here. It is ready for me to fill it in with some tea. And the tea that I'm going to be preparing today is the new tea that I got yesterday in a shop that we have here nearby. So it's not like a well-known brand, nothing like that, but it, it is a green tea which has cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, pepper and something else inside. Let's try it. Elmer's unboxing video, I've, I've recommended you my favorite festive tea that I have at the moment. It is tea by Damanfer. If, you, if you're interested, uh, I left a link in the description of that video to that Christmas tea. By the way, uh, here I have our table mats that I got in IKEA this year. I think this red color is just so festive. That's why I got them and I'm very happy I did. You know, these table mats, they are the cheapest ones that they have in IKEA and they are so comfy. I throw them on the table when we're eating and then I remove them afterwards and they are very easily washed in the washing machine and then I iron them and they look and they look as if they are new. We have a set of navy ones for almost a, a year already and they are holding very well. Okay, the tea is almost ready. I think it's time to open an advent calendar today together. I am having a lint advent calendar. This is kind of a childish thing, but I love it so much. I buy chocolate advent calendars every year. This year I have this one for chocolates and this year I also have a tea advent calendar. Let me show you quickly. 
because that is a good recommendation maybe for this year it's a little bit too late but for next year maybe but i think they are still in stores this is a tea advent calendar from english tea shop organic teas and each day you have a new tea bag and all of these teas they are fast set so you will not get a boring kind of just black tea here each uh, tea bag is very festive like we have here gingerbread treat uh, what is this? Punchy peppermint, tropical lemongrass, happy holiday, spooky spice, festive spice, white wonderland, and things like this. So basically, all of these tea bags are full of festive spices. So that was the tea calendar, and uh, I usually open uh, the tea calendar in the evening, and I make a cup of this tea for myself before going to bed. And during the day, I make tea in my teapot. So today is the day that I'm filming is the 13th of December. This video I think is going to be published on my channel this Sunday. And the 13th window is somewhere here. <laughs> yeah, we have it. I'm lucky today. I got a tiny lint bear which has a cute sweater on and a hat. Hello there. Really cute. It's milk chocolate and it's going to have a milk feeling inside. I've already had this kind of bear inside of the calendar once. I have freshly cut my hair recently and that's why the waves are holding so well. Like so well. I have not used any like special hair mask yesterday, nothing like that. I just washed my hair this morning and I've put a little product on the hair. I don't remember the name of the product that I put on, on it before doing the waves. I will leave it in the description below, but I feel like this product helps me a little bit to hold the waves. And actually yesterday I read about Olaplex number no. three, which I have never used before. I use Olaplex shampoo, conditioner and also number no. six for the hair end and number no. eight as a hair mask, but number no. three I have never used. That is something that you put on your hair before washing and leave it in and then you wash it and then you put a mask on. So that is something I'm curious about trying. If you have ever tried Olaplex number no. three, please write me. I'm really curious about what people think about this product. Anyway, let's let's go on with the tea. It smells festive. I think I really feel a lot of cinnamon in here. I will move a camera a bit so I could settle comfortably with my tea, get my beautiful shopping bag and unbox it together with you. Hello again, settled in my usual filming spot. I really wanted to mention my lipstick because in my Dior shopping video I'm wearing a red lipstick and I told you about it that it was a new lipstick from Dior and I saw that it was so glossy on camera and it didn't look the way I wanted. It was quite smudged and in the end, after me wearing the, this lipstick for the whole day, I was really not happy about how long lasting it was. It wasn't long lasting at all. Like it started like smudging really fast. I prefer vel velvet ones, matte ones. And this one that I have on my lips right now is Dior as well, but another Dior one. The one that was so easily smudged was Dior Rouge Red Smile Satin Lipstick in the shade 80. And this one that I have at the moment is Dior Rouge Velvet Lipstick in a shade 999. And I prefer this one so much. It is super matte. This one, it has a very festive classic red shade and it is long lasting. I can eat with this lipstick and I'm not afraid that I will have the lipstick all over my face and I will be embarrassed. Okay, so let's get to the topic of our today's video. Uh, the topic of our today's video is going to be Dior and unboxing of Dior. And as always, as a big candle fan, I want to mention the candle that I'm burning at the moment of filming this video. This is a candle called Winter by Bath & Body Works. Got it this year in Bath & Body Works, but I think they repeat this candle each year. It is, I would say it is a little bit citrus, but with a mix of winter scents. How can you describe winter scents? Like they call their scents sparkling snow and you feel like it smells like sparkling snow but you can't you can't really describe it. Anyway, this one is really cool. I also have another Bath & Body Works candle here. 
This is my favorite candle this year in Bath & Body Works. It is called Fresh Balsam and I am keeping it new for the holidays because I, I know that if I start burning it right now, it's going to be finished by the holidays and I definitely don't want that. I want to be enjoying this candle on Christmas and on New Year's Eve. That's why I'm keeping it new and the winter candle is halfway through, even more than halfway through actually. Let's get back to Dior. If you watched my previous video, you have seen that I went shopping to Dior here in Warsaw. If you haven't watched my video, I will just briefly tell you that Dior opened a holiday pop-up store here in Warsaw. Generally, they don't have a store here in Warsaw for clothing, bags, accessories, shoes, nothing like that. They only have a Dior beauty store and they opened a pop-up holiday store and I was hoping that it would have lots of stuff, not just Dior beauty, but I was wrong. In reality, this store was extremely festive, very beautiful store only for beauty and fragrances. And I visited this, this store, I filmed my visit for you, if you haven't watched the video I will leave the link in the, in the description for you, it's a very festive one and I got a Christmas gift out there. I really think Dior did it best this year regarding holiday packaging because this kind of shopping bag with this star it is really so so beautiful and magical other luxury brands they they don't pay that much attention to beautiful packaging for holidays for gifts and then inside i have a greeting card from dior which looks very elegant and beautiful then i also have a receipt by dior then i also have what is it it is like a card with hashtags Dior Beauty, Dream and Dior, Dior Holiday. Then I have my samples. I will leave the best for the end. I have two beautiful samples. I love Christian Dior beauty stores because of the way they present you their samples. They give a lot of them and they give really nice ones, not something really small and useless. So here I have two a perfume sample bags. It is actually not a sample, I would call it a mini product because this is Christian Dior perfume in a size 7 and, and a half milliliters, which is which is nice for traveling. So both of these uh, perf little perfumes that I have, they are from Christian Dior La Collection Privé range. If you know what I mean, they have this collection of niche perfumes in big bottles. All bottles look the same and the scents are very beautiful and I believe that these fragrances are more high quality than the regular ones of Dior and they are more long-lasting on your body. So the first one that I have here is Tobacco, Tobacolor. I think it's going to be a festive one. The bottle here is the cutest. It is like a tiny bottle. There is a little bit of tobacco but I feel more of vanilla inside of this than tobacco. Outside the weather is so wonderful right now, like the sun is shining but at the same time the snow is falling in very big snowflakes and there are a lot of them. Every time I try to film them on the camera I feel like the camera doesn't capture the amount of snowflakes that we have. Anyway. Uh, let's get to the next uh, next thing that I have in my Dior bag. This is called Gris Gris Dior Gris Dior perfume. I think I think this one is going to be appropriate for any season. It's not going to be so wintry and festive. Floral and sweet. That's how I would describe this. It's definitely for more for girls than for guys. I feel this way. So here inside of my Dior bag I have a big Dior box. It is quite heavy to hold it. I will open the box and you will see what I have inside. It is packaged like that and then the box is just so beautiful. I didn't expect for the packaging to be that nice. I am sure that it's going to stand in my closet for a long time to be just a beautiful decoration of the room and then what we have inside is uh okay this is a little book with description i will see it later then there is another layer of protection here like that removing it and then 
Here inside we have three holiday candles by Christian Dior and I'm going to show you each one of them. The two little leaflets that we have inside of the box with the candles are about the candles. The first one is kind of art of burning a candle. I know how to burn a candle so I'm not going to read it right now and the other one is uh, explaining what are these candles about. This design, festive design of Christian Dior, it was inspired by the night sky, the stars, the constellations. The first one is called 30 Montaigne. This candle, the 30 Montaigne candle, enhanced with sketches by the artist Pietro Ruffo, translates the spirit of the Dior salons of old in its soft and spicy scent. So this, the scent is soft and spicy, very, very spicy and I would say very Christmassy spicy. The next candle here is called Ambre, Ambre Nuit. Ambre Nuit, I hope I'm, I'm pronouncing it right. Ambre Nuit scented candle interprets the trail of the fragrance of the same name featured in La Collection Privé Christian Dior between the sensuality of the rose notes and the strength of the amber notes. And the last one is called Jardin d'Oranger. It is navy blue. It is like dark navy blue, this candle. The Jardin d'Oranger candle's sunny scent combines the delicateness of notes of Neroli blossoms with the freshness of notes of citrus to create a soft and comforting atmosphere. Here are all of the three festive Dior candles in my hands. Each of these candles is 85 grams. They are not so big and I honestly loved the scents of all of the three candles so much. It would be really hard to choose if I wanted to buy just one. So luckily they had this beautiful set, but they also had uh, their candles uh, sold separately in bigger sizes. I think it would, it would be about 200 gram of a candle. I'm not sure, but I think they have all of their scents of La Collection Privé in a form of a candle, so you can buy those as well. You know, candles of Dior, they, their scents are so exquisite, sophisticated, so beautiful, and the, the design of the candle is beautiful as well. But buying a set of three minis is really my preferred choice, and I think it's also a great idea for a gift. Okay, now I have just discovered that this box can be opened this way, and you can observe the whole beauty of the candles. You know, I'm such a fan of candles, that's why I'm obsessed with, with this, but for people who are not like caring about candles that much that this video will not be interesting at all but if you're a fan of candles if you like some beautiful luxury products to be standing on your tea table in any beautiful place in your home i think that is such a nice idea i cannot wait to burn these candles i'm sure i'm going to keep them alive until we get back home and I can display them in my beautiful home back in Kiev and I hope you like this video I hope you liked seeing my festive Dior candles and feeling the holiday cheer with me together I think that my next video is going to be a shopping vlog I want to do a day of Christmas shopping and I want to take my camera with me so you will be able to see me doing like festive purchases Christmassy uh, cloth purchases and maybe like having some festive lunch or coffee tea anyway just spend a holiday kind of fun day of shopping together and that was it for today thank you so much for being here once again and i will see you very soon